what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? We got a man who was arrested for assaulting a police officer with a donut. Backstory. Dude got a donut on a string attached to a stick. He walks up to a group of police officers and start asking them, do any of them want it? So one of the cops said, get that damn thing out of my face. And another cop standing next to him pushes the guy, assaults him. And then the guy's like, Trying to like, what's, that? what's going on? Wait a minute, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? So they're like, hey, okay, it's time for you to go. So they start to arrest the dude. So they assault the kid and they charge him with assault. Because you know that's how they do a lot, right? Now, should the kid have walked up to the police officer? and antagonize them, waving a donut in their, in their face? Probably not. Was it a good idea? Probably not. Did it help the cause? Probably not. But police officers are supposed to be held to a high standard. They're supposedly trained to de-escalate. And so that these type of stunts don't get under their skin and cause them to act irrationally. Remember, they got a gun on their hip. And when a wacko has a gun, then you know anything could happen. This is why so much happens on a daily basis with the police because there's a lot of wackos out there walking around with badges and guns in the uniform. They charge the dude with assault, but they assaulted him and they also assaulted another person who was filming. The police don't like to be filmed and they don't like being asked questions. They like to only ask the questions. They don't like, they don't like when you ask questions. Again, was it necessary for dude to walk up to the police officer and wave the donut in his face? Absolutely not. It was funny though. I mean, you know, from a from from a from a uh, from a bystander point of view, it was funny. Okay, it was hilarious, but not smart. Not smart at all because you're taking a risk. You might get a cop that decide to de-escalate, chill out, and just you know take it as a joke then you might get one like he got that decide to turn up. You get that one that turn up, you gotta be prepared. Now he's lucky that they didn't pull out a gun and shoot him in the head or beat him unconscious, sever his spine, because you know they can go there. So it would be interesting to see how this thing works out. But dude, I think, I think the I believe the charges are going to be dropped because the man did not assault the cop whatsoever. But that is amazing how they can put their hands on you and charge you with assault. That lets you know, man, they got way too much latitude. They have way too many laws that protect them. In fact, laws that are really unconstitutional. They just make up stuff any little thing to make sure that first and foremost, they protect police officers, but then in addition to that, intimidate people into not pressing charges against police officers. Because that's really what, what that's about. We're going to beat you up and charge you with assault, knowing that you really didn't assault us, but because you got that charge hanging over your head and it's a police officer, it's a, it's a charge against a police officer for assault. It's a very serious charge. And we know you don't really want that smoke. So 
we go back and forth, play with it a little, little bit in court, and then we finally offer to drop the charges if you'll just forget about that little brain damage thing. Right or wrong, fam? Let me know what you think about this. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?